Hello, CFS. Hello, my Christian friends and family. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Sunday? Yes, it's still cold here. In fact, they're saying we might get some rain um, tomorrow, Monday. So um, that is definitely going to be nice <laughs> to have some rain. It seems like the days are moving so fast and um, that we've had very little rain. We've had uh, light sprinkles for a couple of days and that's it. Um, nothing big. Um, today I'm not having uh, tea. I'm having lemon water in my, um, my thermos there. But I hope you guys are doing well on this Sunday. I hope that you are uh, planning on attending your place of worship and that um, everything is going good and that you have all of God's goodness, the love, the joy, the peace, the happiness that is in your life. Um, this Sunday is, I can't believe it, it's the second Sunday of the month. But I am here today to set up my Sunday page um, in uh, my Renew, Refuel, Restore. Um, so that is coming. I had my happy mail come in, which I'm going to share with you guys um, in a video. Should I should have it up on Monday. So you guys will get to see my happy mail. I was so excited to get it and just start working in it. Uh, really, really happy. But today I am in my prayerful planner. Um, and I did do a video on, on my new ones. If you guys didn't see that, um, go, go over and check out that video um, where I'm showing you my prayerful planners for 2025. And sometime, uh, maybe in December, I'll share what books I, mean, I have for 2025 to read. Uh, you've already seen my planners. You, you've well, you haven't seen my budget planner, but that video is coming out. Um, I'll share my word for the year, and I'll share my scripture for the year. All that good stuff. I'll share all of that. And today I am working in these books: Live, Love, Posh, Functionally Chic, Orange Blooms. Mojo Jojo Plans, Big Rainbow Boxes, and Amber Plans Her Day, Bible Journaling Essentials. So that's what I'm going to be working in today. In fact, I already pulled one little scripture out for um, my planner. And you know, it's the month of Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the month of Thanksgiving. And so... Um, for me, I'd like to reflect back over the year and just praise God for all of his goodness. So I look for those scriptures that has thankfulness in it, um, praise in it. Um, so that those are the scriptures I look for. So today I'm going to share a scripture with you. And it's in, and then I'm going to get working on my page. Try not to make the video too long. Um, I am going to Psalms 136. And the Bible that I use is, da, 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 da. I use the Life in the Spirit Study Bible. Love this Bible. Love, love, love it. So I'm going to Psalms 136. And it's one verse, and it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, wow, that's a mouthful. Yes, give thanks to him for all that he's done throughout the year, for all that he's been doing, for all that he's going to do. We don't see it yet, but we know that 
He is faithful and he's just. And so I want to praise him every day. Every day my eyes come open. I'm saying to the Lord, Lord, I thank you. You didn't have to do it, but you did. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for being the God that you are. <laughs> what an awesome God that we serve. We serve an awesome God. Okay. So yeah, Psalms 136. And there's one. This is what. As I said, these are orange blooms. And I don't know why. On Sundays, I, I when I get up and I and I start reading um, my scriptures for the morning, I really think about a color and I, and whatever color is there that just really strikes me. That's the color I use. And this morning. I woke up wanting to use orange so here we go and you guys know I never complete my pages on camera so uh, I will put it at the end of the video so you'll see my fully complete page um, I just like this orange it's so pretty I love it and let's see I think I'm going to go with this. I'm such a flower person. <laughs> I'm such a flower person. My daughter says, Mom, this really flowers all the time. All the time, Mom, flowers. And I was like, yeah, why not? I don't know. Flowers make me smile. How many of you like flowers? How many of you out there have a garden? Do you work in your garden? Do you have flowers? And some people are so good with gardens. Oh my goodness. I, I'm not that great. So <laughs> I'm not going to say that I have a gorgeous garden. No. Um, I do good, but not as, not as good. And no to miss uh, my my buddy my friend evangelist Duhart. <laughs> she's always telling me don't compare yourself to others no evangelist Duhart. i am not comparing myself to others i'm just saying that i'm i not that i'm comparing myself to others i just I look at my rose bushes and I think eh, I could do better with them. Sometimes I slack on them. I don't do everything I could do, but um, yeah, it's okay. I I do okay. I do okay. Um, I don't think I want this line in there, so I'm going to take that out. And I must say. I've been using the boxes quite a bit. Oh, I love that. And I have enjoyed, I'm going to leave this out just in case I want more flowers. I have enjoyed, and I'm going to see if I can find some orange boxes in here. Because I want some boxes. Mm, this is probably about as orange as it's going to get. Let me see if this is going to fit. I might have to turn it sideways. That's kind of cramming in there, isn't it? They're both the same size. I'm just trying to see which orange I really, truly want. Oh, oh. should I use that? I don't want to use a big, giant box um, for it. This is just, I think that's like too big. So I think what I'm going to do, I 
am going to use this because I want to put my scripture in there for that I've read uh, Psalms 136 so I'm going to put this here for Psalms 136 but this scripture here let me get my box out and I got to figure out how I want it to go I don't know if I want it to go there or if I want it to go up here I'm not really sure. Maybe I want it to go down here. Um, I like it better up here. Don't be surprised if when you see the picture, I've changed it. I'm just saying. Um, it could happen. It could happen, guys. It could happen. I could. Totally peel that up and put it someplace else. But this scripture says, as I say, I'm looking for, hold on, let me get this off of my wax paper, wax paper over there. Let's see. This is kind of tight in there. And I hate to put it really, really tight, but I don't have a bigger box. And this simply says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. And this is Psalms 107 and 1. So, today, this Sunday, is full of psalms. Psalms, psalms, psalms. And then I think I'm going to put I'm going to put a box here. Simply because I'm not gonna write a lot of stuff. Some pages I don't write on. Um, I think someone asked me that. Are all my plays? Uh, are all my pages blank some of them are some of them just have scriptures on them um i do use um some um, devotional books in in touch and i use the daily word and the daily bread and i use those um every day so sometimes um, what you will see is just the scriptures. When you see my photos, all you will see is just the scriptures that I have written down um, in, in my planner. And then there are days um, you might see, I don't know, this doesn't look straight. Sometimes I can get these back up and sometimes I can't, but this just does not look straight. So let me see if I can get it up. And I'm going to have to go ahead and and um, get myself together here. Because it's getting late and I need to get going. So what are your plans for the day? What are you guys going to do? Let's see if I can get... I don't know why I can't ever get things straight. It drives me nuts. And then when I, I don't know why that went up a little bit too far, but you know what? I'm not going to move it. I'm going to leave it there simply because I want another box to go there. And I'm going to put this box there. I think this is a little crooked too. <laughs> it's not quite. But I'm going to write my scripture, Psalms 136, in this box right here. And then I have this um, scripture there. And then I'm going to put some things here. But yeah, I don't write on every single um, page. Some pages I just put my scriptures in, and that's it. And um, let me see. Let me find the page. 
um, where I haven't written in it. Let me see. I do have scriptures for every single day. I just haven't written them in. There's one. I haven't written it in. I haven't written in my self-care. And then you have pages like this. I will write my scriptures in, um, put some words in, whatever is going on in my little brain. <laughs> I put there. But sometimes it's a whole bunch of writing and sometimes it's just like this. So there's my Sunday page, guys, for Renew, Refuel, Restore Sundays. Um, I don't think I'm going to, I don't I'm not going to say I'm not going to add something else, but I wanted to come on. My color is orange. I just felt like orange today. And so I put orange on there and I'm loving it. And as we get closer and closer to Thanksgiving, we want to be appreciative and never think that I'm saying no one is appreciative. I know every day that you wake up, you're thanking God for his goodness. Um, November for me is just a reflection month for me. Um, I like to look back over um, my year so far and just look at all the things that God has done for me. And I just like to give him praise for what he's done. Um, sometimes this month is a little sad. This is the month that I lost my mom in. Um, and we lost her um, a week before Thanksgiving, a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving, which was her big, big holiday. She loved it. Uh, I talked about it on another video. Um, so it's um, a reflection month for me. And um, I miss my mom dearly, 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 even at this age. <laughs> yes, I still miss mama. <laughs> and so um, I think about her and I reflect back on the memories that we have how precious is that, that we have memories of our, those who have gone on before us. And we have those memories that can put a smile on our face. And we can think about them in just the pleasantest way and the warmest way. And so, yeah, um, November, I, I think about mom all the time, but November, she stays very, very uh, close to my heart and my mind because this was her month that she loved to celebrate with her family. And so I'm just appreciative that God has let me live to see these years and this year so far. And so I'm thankful. And so I look for those scriptures in the Bible where we're giving God praise and we're giving him thanks. So that's it. I stayed longer than I should have. And I thank you guys for just all my subscribers for just tuning in and listen to me chit chat and ramble on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. If this is your first time here, I hope you will consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button below and become a part of the CFF family. And over here, we do scriptures. We do our planner pages and we talk about the goodness of God and we yes we do do some cash stuffing on here you'll see some of that coming up in January probably a little bit before January because I have to turn in my recyclables so um, I'll be sharing that but I'm so thankful and appreciative for each and every one of you um, if you're brand new here Thank you. I send you love and hugs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of this group. I really do appreciate it. And if you've been with me for a long time, thank you. You know, you have my appreciation and my love sending hugs to everyone. I love all of you guys. Thank you. 
so from so much for being a part of Christian friends and family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, focus on three good things in your day. Look for them, find them. They're there, little nuggets that God drops down for us. Something that puts a smile on our face. It warms our heart and it brings joy to our soul. Kick out the negative, focus on the goodness, and know that God has nothing but good things in store for you. So until next time, bye guys.